Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. We're still in these miserable, dark, dank caves. And no, not dank as in dank memes. This is the bad kind of dank. Now complete the puzzle. The puzzle should just should be the last thing to do in here. Yes, turn it. This could take a while. All right, there we go. Four, two, three, one. Whoever did this countdown didn't know how to count. Four. Two, three, one. Yay, yeah, and the lift works somehow. Cool, this area is now complete. Sorry, Enrico, I must leave you now. Collectibles around here? Probably not. It's probably red because of the poozle. Let's have a, a wander around though, just in case. <coughs> Do not start doing that again, please. <coughs> oh, Jesus, why can I never just sneeze once and be done with it? Lisa, are you good? I'm fine, thanks. A little tired from all this uh, light jogging, but you know, gotta keep fit. <laughs> Climb the box, she'll never find me up here. Dum dum rounds, hang on boules, and gulanade. Thank you, I would have all of the above. Push that crate, Chris. Think of it as training for what you what the future holds for you. One day it will not be enough to merely push boxes. You'll crave something greater. A, a bigger foe, a bigger threat. I am of course referring to boulders. Now we've done that. Need to grab these herbs and avoid Lisa at the same time. Yep, get you to come down this way. I can grab 
these because you're relatively slow. Chris, pick up the herb. I know, I know she's relatively slow, but you are apparently slower. Now, I wanted to go this way. Excellent. I've got enough magnum ammo that I can waste a few on some zombos in the laboratories. <laughs> ah, you, you may have thought I didn't have a plan, but I had a plan all along. I saw that box just disappear. The flamethrower. It's broken. You are useless to me. Lisa, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lead you astray like that. I realised the error of my of my ways. I've come to do it again. around there. Let me just check. Why is that area red? Oh you bitch. Did I miss something in there? Ow. I'm sorry. But I have apparently missed something. Hey. Who did that? Something down here? I know there's nothing else down there. Where is there? If there was it, I've crushed it. This is the downside to a map not showing you that um, items you have missed. Pile of sandbags.
just nothing. So why are you red? You haven't glitched on me, have you? Nothing in here I'm missing. I'm not seeing any shinies anywhere. Nah, screw it. too much. I'm pretty sure I've already got the achievement for clearing out all the rooms. Let us carry on. Let us waste no more time here. Oh, danger noodles. Ah, safe. Because we all know snakes cannot transfer from water to land. Stone ring. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica administered virus type A, plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative action disposed. Lisa administered virus type B, plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive but delayed fusion. Body modification observed constant results. Status continued protective, obs protective observation. George, action terminated November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mum and where did they take her? She promised we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th. I found mum. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mum. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mum. Have to give face back to mother. I got mum's face back. Nobody can have my mum except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away, because mum's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th. From inside box, scent of mummy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. What a horrible way. Horrible fate this poor family had. Boo to that red mark. Let's grab these herbs. This area, this area should be green now at least, yeah. Thank you. where this ladder leads. Who we are back here. Okay. Right. 
you in there. I need you. And you too. Quite a well designed place, I have to say. Everything connects to the other place in some fashion. It's a shame that the design went to. Uh... Oh, he's had one too many. It's a shame that the. People who designed this place used it for evil rather than good. You could have made it into a into a, a haunted house attraction. Not today, son. Returned to the mansion once more. Like a child that just refuses to move out. Brilliant. Well, at least we cleared the mansion. I should have to go on knowing that that one red area tarnishes my progress. but I would rather avoid any hunters. I'm going to miss this place. I'm sure it would have been a lovely place to live had it not been for, you know, the zombies, the death. And the inhumane experiments on human test subjects. Pretty sure that's frowned upon. And two. Of course. Yes, I would like to open it. It's why I went to so much trouble to collect these pieces. Alright. Let's go deal with Lisa one last time. God, she's been here this whole time. That's what thirty one years. Poor girl. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. All right, I'll push these rocks. Did you just knock Wesker off? <laughs> she's 
she knocked Wesker off? Mother. Yep, there's your mum. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, bye, Wesker. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white coats made some of Mummy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots, when they give me the shots, Mum... Oh, when they give me the shots, mummies can't think straight, but mummies shocked and sad because mummies unable to think of you all the time. Mummies afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together, they're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now, so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when they when we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together, okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th. Jessica Trevor. Wow, oh, that poor family. By the time they attempted to escape, it was already too late. That's one. There's two. They really like hiding their secret entrances behind water, don't they? Alright, let us descend into hell. Down we go, down we go, down we go. The labs where Marcus first struck. Got these. Uh, gonna ditch the shotgun for now. I'm gonna kill some time dealing with these zombies. Make sure this area is completely clear of the Zambinos. Oh, that was easy. Hey, fella. Alright, don't ignore me. I have feelings too, you know. I see you. You're the only one up here. OK. 
Okay, good. Grab that. Let's now refill this. Deal with the two downstairs. Normally I'd use the Magnum to finish off the other two, but if I can save all the Magnum bullets for the Tyrant, even better. These two in here I especially need to get rid of, because uh, if they attack you when you're carrying... Uh, the uh, nitroglycerin, wherever it is... Making this a lot easier for me than I envisioned it being game. Dagger, thank you. More handgun bullets, thank you. They attack you when you carry the nitroglycerin. It's like in, it's insta death because it blows up on you. Excellent. More dundums. Grenade. Thank you. V Act Researcher's Note There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness the body goes into a dormant state. During this time the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with, with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Okay, so maybe that wasn't George and it was someone else. Deal with the computer. I mean, I know the codes and everything, but let's do this properly. Actually, I might need to go upstairs first. Oh, actually, I need to go upstairs anyway because it's nearly time to end this episode. So that was uh, good timing. All cleared of the Zambinos. That'll make our escape a lot easier. See? You've got a plan ahead. Alright. Cool. I've got two out of the three Mo discs. Plenty of mag ammo. And with that, it's time to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Resident Evil, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.